Hello YouTube, this is Dave. Just wanted to say first off, hope you all had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year coming up. And uh, just wanted to come out here and uh, have a little bit of fun shooting the uh, my brand new P365. Um, picked this up, haven't fired it yet. Uh, this is what I've been carrying when I carry real, uh, r real light. Um, this guy's... Uh, these are seven plus one with this extension and these are eight uh, round mags um, as you all know 10 10 12 12 12 so uh, slightly smaller gun actually quite a bit smaller and uh, more capacity that's what everybody's excited about um, I'm gonna be shooting this guy out here uh, just like I normally would for US uh, PSA drills just to see how it runs um, we'll say this Gun looks great. I uh, did have to adjust the rear sights. They were off slightly uh, to the right, and that was a bummer. And I had a heck of a time getting the slide off the first time. Um, apparently there's a safety on the frame in here that uh, was caught and ended up showing up my fingers a little bit. Um, but finally figured that out and got that off without messing the gun up. So I'm going to have some fun, put some rounds through it, see if it's as great as everybody talks about. and. Uh, this is going to be my carry holster. Um, we use this for the for the uh, uh, drills, um, and I already have a mag pouch. Mags for this fit this. First shots. Oh, it's been going well. See where I'm hitting. Okay folks so this is the piece I was talking about that sticks uh, according to SIG that will go away over time we'll see and that rear sight does seem to be a tad bit to the left it was quite a bit to the right so I think I, I'll move it a little bit see how that goes learn how I'm gonna do this I've got my B&J machine uh, sight tool Maneuver that a little bit and get it fixed.
out of daylight here. All right, folks. Well, that's the end of the day, literally. Getting too dark to shoot uh, at this range. Um, did want to close up. That's 310 rounds, uh, 147 grain ammo through this gun. Um, feels a lot more, a uh, lot looser than it did when I first started. Um, had some great accuracy, especially towards the end once I figured out where the sights came in. And uh, overall, shoots like a big. Uh, bigger handgun and I know I read that online and I thought just like you probably did that that was just hype but uh, Wow um, Exceptional sights you've seen these a hundred times on YouTube. I'm sure everybody raves about the sights 12 round uh, 10 round mag 12 round mag and then the flush This is great for ankle or pocket great for pocket great for regular carry um, have the CompTAC uh, holster, the, uh, the MTAC that I use uh, for most of my carry guns. And then I have uh, another holster, which uh, I picked up, which incredible holster. Uh, DeSantis actually makes this one. And uh, awesome holster. And uh, this one, DeSantis also, which is a pocket holster. A lot of people complain about this one. They say that the uh, the gun should be covered up. I disagree. I like the fact that I can get full purchase on that. Um, comes out really well. The uh, Comtech. I don't know if you guys know anything about Comtech Minotaurs. This is all I carry concealed with. Uh, outstanding holster. Plenty of room for the sight channel. And then the DeSantis, which I've been using all day today outstanding okay folks well just finished cleaning up the uh, sig p365 put 310 rounds through it um did want to point some things out that's a standard glock tool um and there's my barrel um pretty ridiculous size wise it's tiny uh 300 rounds hardly any i mean i don't see any wear at all on the barrel um do have a little bit of wear in here uh, to be expected right um, inside the barrel where the barrel touches there um, but that's about it um, this is this is just dinky uh, you can see here just how tiny that is comparatively speaking this is the uh, p365 trigger group uh, pretty incredible you, I mean the engineering here is awesome um, you know, tiny little, tiny little parts, right, for a tiny little gun. Um, pretty nice, pretty nice setup. I did want to point out, um, a lot of people commented about getting, you know, marks on their magazines. Um, you know, I'm not sure if I'm seeing marks or not. You know, that first mag may have had a mark, I can't really tell. Uh, maybe that's what they're talking about, that little piece there on the edge. Um, took some pictures, too, of the brass. I didn't see a lot of messed up primers like uh, people reported. Um, but, you know, it had been 300 rounds, so it's not like I've fired a, a ton through it yet. But just wanted to show you what she looks like. Um, I will say this, it does actually shoot like a full-size gun. I've probably said that more times than I should have, but uh, I'm still shocked at that. Um, 
you know, it's a double stack gun in all reality. And it's interesting because, you know, there's your standard, there's your magazine, 12 round magazine. And I'm carrying over here my uh, Glock 43 magazine. And I'll put those side by side for you. So, magazine on the left, Glock 43 mag. This has an extended, um, uh, it has an extension. I think it's Tango Down or Tango. Anyway, um, and this is a plus two, so this is eight rounds, which, you know, I mean, for a 43, that's pretty cool, you know, to have eight rounds when it has six. But holy cow, folks, that's 12. And, uh, and it runs great. So um, highly impressed with the 365. And thanks for stopping by.